Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversation. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So what I have here are your January mid-month check-ins, yes? January 2019. So because I was working on the six month forecasts for 2019 and I was wanted to get those out before the 1st of January, I wasn't able to do full January readings for the collective. So I am bringing you guys a mid month check in. Uh, this is going to be a normal um, general freestyle reading, uh, just like always. I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot and I am using the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah. Um, and so this is just this general normal reading. We are going to be looking at what's going on currently around you since we already in the are already are in the month of January. We're going to be looking at what's currently going on around you and then what could be coming up down the line at the end of the month. So we're looking at for that. We're, we're, uh, we're looking at this from around the 15th to the 31st. Yeah. I want to want to wish a special happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. Very happy birthday to you. We are smack dab in the middle of Capricorn season. I hope you guys are having a great birthday. I hope everybody had a great holiday. We are out of the holiday season now, so we might be going through that, you know, post-holiday funk, uh, the uh, seasonal depression maybe, but I hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The energies are fluid. They could go either way. We could either be talking about you personally, or we could be talking about uh, someone that you're connecting with. Cross watchers, you know, it, take, what it, take it as it resonates. Also, everybody, just take it as it resonates. And again, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me, and I can get that set up for you. Yeah, I believe that's it. Ooh, um, good news. I am back at Om Shanti Bookshop here in, in the East Village of New York City. It is on East 14th Street. That is between 3rd and 4th. No, I'm sorry. That's between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. There it is. Um, but I'm going to be there Fridays now from 11 to 5 p.m. So go ahead and uh, you can give them a call. The email address, I'm sorry, the website is in the description box below. So you can go there, get their phone number, give them a call if you would like to... Uh, uh, book a reading in advance that can happen yeah and actually you know that way you don't have to potentially wait if someone else got in before you yes okay I think that's it so without further ado we're gonna get straight to it yes Aha. hello there Libra welcome to your reading for mid-January 2019 thank you so much for tuning in let's get straight into it hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for all Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for mid-January 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Libra. You're feeling pretty playful at the moment. <clears throat> I feel like that's kind of your nature anyway. Um, jovial. You are a cardinal sign, so you do like to, you know, make a move, set things straight, whatnot. I mean, bringing balance to situations is really kind of your forte. Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hmm. I feel like... It's interesting because with Virgo, they were in this, was it, was it Virgo? No, it wasn't Virgo. Somebody, there's a different, another reading that I would, did for, oh, Gemini. It was Gemini that was in this like neutral space, I think it was. I don't remember, I honestly don't really remember now, but I, cause I'm seeing gray for you right now, Libra, which is interesting. Um, and that's reminding me of some sort of neutral space here. So you really might be in a neutral, feeling pretty neutral about things whereas at one point in the past you may have been pretty opinionated you know very much on a certain side libra all right libra one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for you Oops. 
All right, guys. Overall energy. We're starting you off with the two of wands. Yeah, okay. See, now this really may be why you I'm picking up such a neutral energy for you because you're having a decision to make. And this is actually, this doesn't feel like anything <laughs> that's really out of the ordinary for you. Um, kind of going back and forth, not necessarily knowing which one to go with. Um, but you are having to make a decision here. So I really feel like you're probably keeping yourself as neutral as possible to figure out which way is best to go or which option is best to choose. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel like you're trying to, um, I really feel like you're trying to manifest something, start something new. You have this new beginning that's approaching or that's at, that's, you know, in the middle, in the process of manifesting. And the choice that you have to make right now is very much about the best way to bring this forward, okay? You're really starting something new. This could be financial and career. That is the first thing I'm picking up on, but it really could be anything. But for many of us, like collectively, a lot of us are very much focused on our finances and all that stuff. So, yeah. Ooh, you've got the five of cups here. So there's regret, there's remorse, there may be some shame. Um, you may be in the process of really just mourning something. Uh, <clears throat> Interestingly enough, what I'm getting here is that there could be some of you, you might be in some sort of relationship where you broke it or you've lost a relationship and um, you're having to choose which direction you want to go in now, you know, which is the universe is presenting you with a brand new start, but you just feel blech about it. Like you don't really want to go in either direction, which is unfortunate. But yeah, it's time to walk away. And what I'm really getting here, Libra, what I'm getting with these cards is either you or someone else, someone that you're connected with. Please excuse the manicure, guys. I haven't really had a chance to redo them. But anyway, um, either you or someone else is needing to just walk away, is needing to finally like get, get pick themselves up off the ground and, um, and make a decision, move in some, new, some sort of direction, start manifesting something new. I understand, you know, what it feels like to lose something. I, we all have an idea of loss. We've all lost something in our lives, but there comes a certain point where you have to just kind of stop crying about it and get over it, you know? Get back up again. Get back up on, your, on the horse and keep riding, you know? You gotta just, you have to make a decision here, Libra. And what I'm getting the most part, either you, Libra, or someone else, maybe, Libra, you left somebody else and they've just been in this depressed state for the longest time or it could be you um but also what i'm getting for whoever whomever has been in this five of cups energy in this depressed state it's really time to just walk away and move on with your life okay now for others of you you're ne you are needing to walk away and you want this new start you want this new beginning but you're not sure where to get it from should you be getting it from the current situation or should you be getting it from somewhere else uh, and you're facing the, the idea of having to deal with a loss, all right, with the Five of Cups. All right, so let's get into this. The first row is going to be your current energies. What's going on in the month for you right now as of, as of the moment that you're watching this video? Potentially, um, if you're watching it in late January, then maybe not. But um, And then the bottom row is going to be the end of the month. All right, so first set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. We have the Five of Wands, conflict. Now, you are being faced with a good amount of change here, Libra, because you have two fives in the Five of Cups and the Five of Wands. Now, there is some internal conflict going on, either on your behalf or someone else's, uh, and it has everything, it's directly connected or directly related to this Two of Wands that you, this energy, uh, this decision that you're needing to make of which direction to move in. Um, and you're oppo you have opposing sides, and it's almost as if all of this infighting, all of this conflict or confusion, this inner conflict, is really causing you to take on an apathetic stance, or it's taking, it's causing someone to take on an apathetic stance, okay? And it's like you just don't even want to deal with it. You don't, it's not even like you can really say that you care enough to deal about to deal with it. And I understand that. Um, you know, this isn't going to resonate with everybody, but. Uh, for those of you that it is resonating with, I understand. Um, and I wouldn't, and honestly, I could sit here and say to you, you, you know, you just got to try and get yourself out of that. But 
that's not even going to really do anything to you, you. It is kind of a situation that you just have to let pass, unfortunately. Um, you'll come out of it eventually. And if you don't, you'll get sick of being in that position. So then you'll pull yourself out eventually. Five of Wands is coupled with the King of Swords. So this could be you um, This as an air sign. Uh, it could also, you could be dealing with an Aquarian specifically, or you could be dealing with a Gemini or another Libra. But um, what I'm getting with this is with, with all this conflict and confusion that's going on around you, you're needing to adopt a King of Swords uh, point of view and just make a decision, okay? Look at things as objectively as possible and make a freaking decision. <laughs> um, the King of Swords is very much the judge, the mediator. Um, he's very much the, the diplomat, the person that's going to hear out all sides. So with this five of wands energy, it's really quite beneficial to have this king of swords here clarifying it. Either there is going to be some sort of judge um, that will be uh, some sort of intermediary, a mediator, someone that's going to be the voice of reason, the neutral party. It could be you actually, Libra, to be quite honest. Um, there could be a lot of confusion around you and you are the one that's helping people, you know, squash things. Uh, but um, now, now this also could be going on internally, right? So you would have to take on that energy for yourself. Second set of surrounding energies for your current energy of the month, you have the nine of wands. So battered and bruised, feeling exhausted, uh, not necessarily wanting to go on. I'm hearing lethargic here. Um, so whatever it is you've been through, you've been going through, has really left you battered and bruised. You're really having to pull on every ounce of strength that you can just to continue keeping on, right? Uh, the Nine of Wands is the Just Keep Swimming card for me personally. Um, Nine of Wands is coupled with the Magician. But see, out of all of this, you're having or you're at least you're needing to find the perseverance to, to to manifest because there is something new that's being handed to you here it could be a commitment it could be a job it could be something physical like a car a house i don't know whatever um something tangible but it just i just feel like you're so exhausted and a lot of the conflict, it could be around what it is you want to manifest here. Uh, the conflict is around which direction to go in, okay? Your challenge currently, uh, we've got the Emperor. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, the, but see, the challenge here is to be the master of your own domain, is to take your power back and to choose and to, to go for it. To step up and you know honor yourself honor your mission you could be you could be dealing with your inner masculine energy also that's for sure hmm. okay the Emperor is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles I feel like some of you are afraid of something. It's almost as if you're afraid to move forward. Maybe you might be afraid of how long it might take. You may be coming out of a situation with this five of cups, you may be coming out of a situation in which you had been, you had invested and it crashed and burned or it just didn't work out. And now you're be. it's almost as if you're being nudged towards doing more or not doing more, but like, moving on and starting something new, manifesting something new, and it's almost as if you don't want to do it. And if that's the case, I would recommend just like taking a break, just resting, you know, just rest and allow yourself. I think also part of the issue that you're dealing with Libra or whoever you're connecting with, this could potentially be the cross watcher, but we're talking about Libras here. Well, the conflict that you're going through may be the fact that, you know, you're needing to move on or you're needing to make a choice, you're needing to move forward, but you just don't really feel like it right now. 
So you might be, could, you could be fighting yourself in that sense. The potential outcome, or at least the closing message here for, the, the begin, for your current energies of the month, you have the Eight of Wands. So with all this lethargic energy that's around you, there's still a swift movement. I just feel like once you get the energy to do so, things are going to move very quickly. It's not going to be as slow as possible. Now, you could be dealing with a masculine energy. If you're a twin flame, this could be the divine masculine here with the emperor. And they're just moving really slow. But you see, you don't have to wait for someone else. You just move on with your life. Do what it is you want to do. Do what it is you came to do. Do what's best for you. And then if they line up with you, that's fine. But that could be the conflict here. That really could be the conflict here. If you're dealing with a counterpart, a, a twin flame or just a soulmate or someone, just whatever, someone that you've been, I don't know, romantically connected with. Maybe it doesn't have to be a romantic connection. It could be a friend, a family member or whatnot. But if you're needing to, you're wanting or needing to move in a new direction, but you're in conflict about it, the advice here is to just go, Go in your own direction. You don't have to wait for anybody else. Okay? Eight of Wands is coupled with, oof, the Ten of Wands. Release these burdens. It's these, these are the burdens that are holding you back from moving forward. And those burdens could be, in fact, waiting for someone else. And you don't need to do that. Right? You don't need to do that. If there is a different direction that you want to move in, go with it, okay? Uh, energies for the end of the month for you here. First set of surrounding, you've got the star. You really could be dealing with an Aquarian. But I'm seeing healing happening here in the end of the month. And that could very well be because you have made a decision, okay? But it also could be wish fulfillment. Honestly, this Ten of Wands here is what's holding you back from movement, from take, going after what it is you want, from maybe from communication. But it's also holding you back from wish fulfillment, okay? The star is coupled with, wow, the world. Completion. Cycles ending. It really could be that some of you may have come to realize that whatever connection that you were in, um, it's just not going to work out. And you may have been in a funk around that for a long time, okay? But now it's time to pick yourself up and get back on the horse because you've got something else coming through here, okay? Whatever you have quote-unquote lost is not the end-all be-all to your life. Or at least whatever you are choosing to walk away from or choosing to move away from, choosing to go in, a, in a, a direction that differs from, it's not the end of the world and it's not the loss. Well, it's not a loss. Well, it's not the end all be all, excuse me, that's what I'm trying to say, all right? So this cycle is becoming, is, is completing, it's done, and you're doing the healing, but that's also allowing you to go, to receive or manifest that which you truly desire, your, your wish fulfillment, okay? You have in your second set of surrounding energies, six of swords, look at that, moving away. Moving on to calmer waters, healing also, mental healing, avoiding conflict, all right? And you've known a good amount of conflict lately and it's in the form of internal conflict and I really do see by the end of the month you're going to be moving away from that and doing some serious healing and closing out this chapter, okay? Six of Swords is coupled with, there you are, just a Libra, justice. Justice is being brought to the situation. Justice is brought into the situation, for a lot of you, it's brought into the situation by simply just moving on. Choosing to let go and just go. Okay. Uh, the challenge here for you, 
in the end of the month, Libra, you've got the Six of Pentacles. So I get, I'm picking up for this, I'm picking up as seeking out situations that are balanced in reciprocity, in reciprocation, balanced between the give and take. But there is what you're needing to learn through that is not to overgive. Okay. For, and I feel like that's why a lot of you are feeling so apathetic or maybe even depleted. You've been giving and giving and giving in this situation and not really been getting anything close to how much you've been giving in return. And so it's left you depleted. But the challenge here is to not fall back into that cycle in the future. All right. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Wheel of Fortune. What did I say? Bringing this cycle to a close. That's the challenge in the end of the month. And that's the big healing lesson that I feel like many of you are going to be facing towards the end of the month, okay? I do see a progression from the overall energy and the beginning of the month or like mid whatever the current energies of the month you have five of cups five of wands okay five five but at the end of the month you have two sixes six and six progress six is a, is a number of he, uh, balance harmony in the love and home sector but it's also balance and harmony within it's also healing okay i do see six as a very healing number all right so the closing message for the end of the month or maybe even the potential outcome, you've got the High Priestess. Intuition. Learning deep lessons that your soul has been trying to learn. I feel like you, you might have a really strong connection to your intuition by the end of the month. Um, you may be getting some serious downloads from your higher self, from the universe at the towards the end of the month. I'm just getting major insights into these, the, the closing out this cycle. Okay, some maybe some things that you didn't really realize before. Okay, High Priestess is coupled with, yes, the Ten of Swords. Look, guys, the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords have been making an appearance together like crazy. I just started an Instagram page, uh, a divine underscore conversations. Go ahead and follow me. But my first post was a post about how I was doing a private reading, a reading for myself last night and the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords came out together um, and it came out with the Fool. And the ten, the ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords are two tens and many of us have been seeing ten ten lately and um, that's a number of completion and it was really perfect that it's coming out as the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords because we're releasing the burdens from the past and we're putting to rest the drama from the past and starting anew with the Fool. And this has to be the, I think the third time now in all the readings that I've been doing today for the Zodiac signs. I think this is like, the, this is at least the second, but it might even be the third. I really think it's the third because I remember talking about this at least three times now, but um, that these two cards have come out. So collectively, not just for you, Libra, or whatever other sign it came out for, even just for myself in the reading that I did for myself last night, collectively, we're all going through this purge and completion and putting the past to rest. That's quite beautiful. But again, in associate in uh, 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 in uh, reference to you know the high priestess here, there are definitely I really feel like there are definitely some insights that are going to be coming through for you around this situation that you may not have been aware of in the past that kept the cycle going. Okay. All right. So let's get into your oracle guidance now. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. for our mid-January reading of 2019. All right, guys, here we go. Best message, please, spirit for Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Here we go. Underneath the deck, you have friendship. Ooh. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. 
That's nice. And then finally, you have growth. Aha! Seek out a mentor or a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Knight of Pentacles. Be willing to learn from others. And that also speaks to being able to or being willing to learn from experiences with others. Yeah? All right, Libra, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And if you would like a personal reading with me, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. I'll go ahead and get you set up. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you. Ooh, I look forward to connecting with you again for February. Yeah? Take care. Bye.